Hi everybody, this is Jens from Elector. We are on the Embedded World Show in Nuremberg 2015. And I'm going around to look for interesting things. And this is Matthias Ackermann from Infineon. Matthias, you have interesting things on your desk. Maybe you can say us something about this uh, small sensor board. Thanks Jens for having you here. Welcome everyone. Here we go and this is our rather to go demo. You see an RF chip together combined with an Arduino stacked RGB LED lighting shield. Mm -hmm. So what we can do here is mm -hmm. you can do presence detection and movement detection with mm -hmm. a 24 gigahertz radar. Okay. The signal is calculated mm -hmm. by a PC, but mm -hmm. you could also do it later on in a microcontroller with a firmware. Then it sends back the data, the raw data to the mm -hmm. microcontroller. Mm -hmm and it controls the light of the LED, so okay. as close I get, okay. it's changed the color of the LED. Mm -hmm. And what kind of range does this sensor have here? This implementation is a low-cost implementation, yeah. so it's about 2 to 3 meters, but if you use external additional amplifiers, you could get up to 10 meters about. Okay, and here's a dedicated sensor chip. This, the sensor okay. chip is a 24 gigahertz radar chip mm -hmm. out of our series of radar chips mm -hmm. and it's connected to a microcontroller out of the XMC4000 family mm -hmm. which is a M4 powered mm -hmm. um, Cortex M4 powered system. And what kind of output does this uh, sensor chip has? The sensor chip is connected via SPI to the microcontroller okay. and the microcontroller is connected via USB to the PC mm -hmm. and the data are sent to the PC mm -hmm. Additional calculated, mm -hmm. in this case in a MATLAB overview GUI, mm -hmm. where you could see some time domain and some frequency domain data to more optimize your design okay. and the antenna. And then the data are sent back to the micro and given out via PWM and IOs to the so RGB. We can see board. actually on the screen the, the distance and, and the speed. You can see the distance, and yeah. if something is approaching, if yeah. something is going away or it's stationary, okay. where stationary is very complicated okay. because mm -hmm. the, the technology is very sensitive yeah. to really mm -hmm. act on small movements. Mm -hmm. So the PC actually calculates uh, distance and send it back to uh, this The board? microcontroller, yeah. yes. Uh -huh. And the microcontroller sends the data as PWM and I.O. to the baseboard, which is a XMC yeah. 1100 entry-level boot kit. Mm -hmm. It uses an M0 mm -hmm. microcontroller. And this microcontroller does some communication and calculation. Mm -hmm. And the communication is then via I2C protocol mm -hmm. to a shield. Mm -hmm. This shield is enabling a XMC 1200 microcontroller, mm -hmm. which has a dedicated coprocessor called Brightness Color Control Unit. Mm -hmm. uh, Brightness Color Control Unit, sorry. And this controls an RGB LED light inside mm -hmm. this lamp. Mm -hmm. And you use Arduino pinout. We I, have an Arduino compatibility, yeah. yes, because it, it extends our P2S mm -hmm. approach. Mm -hmm. So we want to have the customer mm -hmm. either evaluate our technology, but mm -hmm. they also can be able to combine it together mm -hmm. with other technologies to extend it. I think you have many other shields for we, uh, the Arduino pinout. Yeah. We have today we have three shields, but okay. we are continuous extending. So we okay. hooked up recently to this form factor. Uh -huh. We have a motor control shield. Mm -hmm. We have this lighting shield and we have the baseboard, mm -hmm. but we will have some more, so we have a roadmap to do more boards and shields in our mm -hmm. portfolio. Mm -hmm. And you said there's a thing about the uh, dimming of the... Exactly, so the, the lighting shield, it's an intelligent lighting shield. Yeah. It has a firmware on it, which we give away as a source code to the mm -hmm. customer. Mm -hmm. And with the source code, the customer can just plug and play and mm -hmm. communicate via a scene control, mm -hmm. the brightness, mm -hmm. the light, so it's red, mm -hmm. green or blue. Mm -hmm. um, or he can also change the firmware mm -hmm. and reprogram it. Mm -hmm. And this, more or less, the firmware controls a peripheral, which mm -hmm. is dedicated for lighting. Mm -hmm. And this peripheral is called brightness color control unit. Yeah. And it has a specific ability to do pulse density modulation mm -hmm. and controls the RGB, human eye friendly and flicker free at low dimming frequency even. Mm -hmm. With some random function? There's some, yeah. Yeah. the pulse density modulation is, is based on a random mm -hmm. output. Mm -hmm. So it has even some good enhanced ability for EMC, EMV. Mm -hmm. So it, it's really for harsh environment also intended, yeah. as well as the, the ability to make a really good light quality. Mm -hmm. 
with low bomb cost. Mm -hmm. So the microcontroller itself can has some comparators embedded, mm -hmm. and you have only need to have the external RGB lamp mm -hmm. together with a MOSFET, mm -hmm. and this is more or less together with the microcontroller the bomb you need. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's very low cost even. Okay. And do you have a price for this shield here? The shield is about um, 18 euros. And everybody can uh, buy it in, in the shop? Everybody can buy it at an e-tailer, for example, um, or on our homepage. Mm -hmm. Even the, the boot kit is available. Mm -hmm. The Rada chipset or the, the Rada chip itself is available, mm -hmm. mass market. Mm -hmm. The board itself, customer can duplicate. Mm -hmm. So we give away the source code, the PCB, mm -hmm. and we want to make an a kind of enhanced version, even smaller version, mm -hmm. which is then later on available as mass market board, evaluation board. I see. And what kind of applications uh, can we have here with this radar sensor? Well, for example, it, it goes to stationary light, so you could see if someone is entering a room, you switch on the light or you dim it while he is moving away to save energy. Mm -hmm. Or it could be a door opener, for example. Mm -hmm. So there's multiple industrial applications and home building automation applications where this kind of application can fit. Mm -hmm. And due to the price range, it's very attractive for customers. Okay, thanks Matthias and all the best for the fair. Thanks Jens for giving me this time. Thanks for watching.